What's up, what's up? Six Sensei here, and man, I'm excited to be home. Excited to have some power in my house because for the past three days, I've been in my in law's house. And not that there's anything really wrong with that, but it's your in laws, and you're not home. You're away from your PlayStation, and that's Xbox and computer and internet. And, and you know, we, like I said, we didn't have power, but my in laws did have power. You know, I can be happy about that. They had cable. We were able to keep up with the news and everything. If you don't know, I live just outside of New Orleans, just north of New Orleans, and that's why I was out of power. Hurricane Isaac came through and uh, knocked out the power and really threatened us with quite a bit of flooding. Uh, it wasn't wasn't a lot of fun, you know. It was, it was definitely nerve wracking. Uh, this is my first hurricane to go through as a homeowner, and uh, it was definitely, definitely, uh, like I said, a nerve wracking situation. But this game here, we got some terminal. The reason I'm bringing you this game is because, it was, first of all, it's a good score. Right? I think I went 49 and nine, which is you know over a 5 KD, which is pretty good with a rifle. Uh, these guys kind of suck though. There's no taking away, you, you can't take that away from it, but. Um, the way I'm playing this game is what I want you guys to kind of notice is this is how I learn the the secondary or the third spawn system. You know, as of right now, I kind of already know um, most of the primary spawn systems for, for, for terminal. Uh, and right now you'll see I'm playing as far away from my teammates as possible for most of this entire game. And this is how I kind of feel out where they're spawning, and where they're coming from. And this is kind of, I, I pay attention to the mini-map, especially when we put up a advanced UAV. Because you can, sit, you can sit there and watch them spawn in the exact locations. And I love looking at that stuff. You know, I, I love learning exactly how the spawn system works. And everybody is asking for a drop zone terminal uh, tutorial. So I got to get one out to you guys. That's coming up next uh, in the next tutorial. But the next video... Uh, looks like it's gonna have to be the 5k sub video right to give away the uh, the, the setup video and everything like that so glad to have power glad to have an opportunity at home I was worried I might not have power long enough to to uh, to do that video we might get 5k subs and I wouldn't have a way to do it and that would really suck but that's not the case you know and again my heart goes out to anybody who suffered any major losses or damages um, you know I really 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 uh, like I said my heart goes out to you I hope I hope the best for you and your family and um you know i hope everybody can move on we, we can get past this you know that that hurricane was was crazy it was coming in 14 miles an hour everything was good you know it was staying in the tropical storm and we were all like oh this ain't gonna be nothing no need to evacuate you know maybe a little power loss so we run to the store we get some batteries we get some you know little snacks and stuff to kind of keep us occupied we, me and my wife we even bought jenga because <laughs> we didn't know you know we, we how long we'd be without power and things like that so getting ready for the storm, a little hur hurricane, uh, maybe a one. They said it was going to be a tropical storm, maybe even. And then it comes through, and it sits on top of us for days. 36 hours to be, you know, roundabout. It sat on top of us for 36 hours just dumping water and pounding us with weather and, and wind. And uh, it was just, it was very, very nerve-wracking. Like I said, I, my house actually got a foot and a half of water. In Katrina. Now I didn't own it then, uh, but that's what it got. And I was really concerned with this storm pushing the water in and then dropping a whole bunch of water. And it was just, like I said, nerve wracking to say the least. And then to be without power, just that that you know, ice it on the cake. I guess you could say the bad cake. But um, like I said, everything's good. Happy, happy about that. We finally got power. I am about to jump on and play some Modern Warfare 3 uh, for the first time in a handful of days. So I'm probably gonna suck for a minute, but. You know, I figured I'd get a commentary out there before I jumped on and have some fun. And that gun right there, the AS-50 with the ACOG, I never, ever, ever used it in this game. And I hate it. <laughs> I did not like it. And that, my one little experience with it, did not care for it. And um, probably never pick it up again. I don't really like the ACOGs in this game altogether. But back to the gameplay. Um, this, like I said, this is how I learn. As you'll see, I'm running away from my teammates. Very specifically, I'm, in some cases, I'm running away from where I know they are. Because my teammates are pushing their spawns, I am running away from where I know they're spawning because I want to see that that third spawn. I want to push their secondary spawn to see where the third one is. You know what I'm saying? If if you can understand, there's the primary spawn, and that's where my teammates are going, and that's where that's where every all the action is. And then there's the secondary spawn, which is where they're going to spawn after that action takes place. And you know, whoever wins, my teammates or them, which usually in this game they sucked, uh, my teammates would win it. And then I'm looking for that third spawn. You know, where's that third spawn or secondary kind of second, second spawn? Because there ain't really a third one. 
And, and this is just how I learn the map. So I'm ready to bring you guys a drop zone map tutorial on Terminal. And like I said, that's going to be coming up next. I'm excited about that because you guys keep asking for it. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, I know this map, it's going to be really quick because there's only three drop zones. And this. this is the only one, the only map in the game that I know of that has three drop zones. And I've played pretty much all of them. So I think it's the only one that only has three drop zones. And I think they could have put more in this game. They could have most definitely put uh, at least four, if not maybe five drop zones in this map. But... Oh well, you know, it, it is what it is. And the weirdest thing about this map is that they spawn, one spawn is like right on top of the drop zone. And then the other sub spawns across the map. So they give a team an advantage. One team gets an advantage no matter what. Right out of the gate, they get the first care package. They get the, they get to put points on the board and take the lead. And the other team is, is has to come to them. And when any time you got to get to your enemy, you're at a disadvantage because they're ready and waiting and you have to push. You have to round that corner to get to them. And that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Most of the maps, they all make them to where that center drop zone is in a decently center, you know, central location where both team kind of has an equal opportunity to take over. It's really about who's the better team, who's the better players to take over. And, and this is the first map I've ever seen that. So I, we'll talk about that more in the Drop Zone map tutorial. But this game, it was a lot of fun. It, you know, it was one of those games where your connection just felt right. And that doesn't happen often in Modern Warfare 3, especially on the PlayStation. Um, but, you know, it, it happens sometimes. Your connection feels right. And you get games like this. You get pretty decent shots uh, with not too many hit markers. That's pretty much what changes the way the connection feels. And as soon as I talk about hit markers, that's what we get. But... That's pretty much changed how your connection feels. Because if you aim and you know you're on his chest and you shoot and you get a hit marker, that's a bad connection. But if you aim and you feel like maybe there's a chance I was on his shoulder, but, you know, it gets the one hit kill, that means there's a good connection because your bullets are landing where they're supposed to land. Not in some random location where it doesn't look like they were going that way and... You know, all of that nonsense. But anyway, guys, that's it for me. Um, this gameplay is coming close to an end. Um, again, thanks for all your support. Look, if you follow me on Twitter, you, you would have known that I went through the storm and all that stuff was fun. If you want, go ahead and check it out. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at 2 sick TV. Um, that's my account, right? You can follow Sick Lawless. You can follow Sick Psycho. Those are good guys. Um, Sean Zulu, really active on Twitter. He's awesome. Awesome fella. He lives out here, too, is why I'm, why I'm mentioning their names. But that's it for me, guys. I'm Six Sensei. I survived Isaac <laughs> very easily. And uh, don't forget to quickscope the like button, and I'm out. Peace.